Here are the four members of the Troy Dollar team busy making this hunting gait. What's the digging like? Is it? <laughs> the four lads from Bolch and Krakowl. The judge in the Suffolk sheep section, Mr. Dennis Nixon, is explaining how he placed the sheep and giving his reasons. I think that's a little bit A competition now for our young ladies under 26 years of age, changing the wheel of a car. I think all the necessary bits uh, are being provided and marks uh, will be given for safety. The judge is Mr. Stuart Davis from Lundavery Tyres. The farm bike competition, another very popular event, uh, but I can't see it down in my programme. This competitor's not wasting any time. This rider missed a turn and had to put the bike in reverse. Off he goes again. It's a windy little course and it might slow them down a bit. Not having much luck. We're waiting now for the ad hoc generation game competition to start. Here two members from each club have to get up one at a time and talk about a particular subject. Each competitor is given the title of their subject about five minutes before they have to get up and speak. So this is quite a difficult competition. Hello, I'm from Julian Farmer. I'm going to speak on the price of beer. Oh, how do you, how do you drink? Anybody drink here? Yeah. Do you all drink? Yeah. What do you think of the price of beer? Too expensive? Yeah. I think it is. When I started drinking, I thought, once a beer goes to one pound a pint, I'll stop. Well, I'm still drinking. <laughs> well, I'm going to talk about the French. I don't know what to say. Um, as you all know, the chance tunnels come into coming into effect next year, hopefully. Don't know. As well as the farm bike competition, we also have a bicycle event. This is where a member under 16 years of age has to ride one of these mountain bikes around a rather a complicated obstacle course. At the moment, the judge, Mr. Malcolm Probert from Landrinded Wells, is trying to explain to all these young competitors exactly what they have to do. Now, either you take the long routes between those tyres without putting your foot down, or you don't stand on anything to the right, Back with the farm bike competition, uh, Mike Hughes from Smithfield Tractors as uh, uh, the judge and he's loaned the bike as well. I hope he gets it back in one piece.
<laughs> Good luck, Wayne. Huh? Good luck. <laughs> Wayne's trying to demolish the course. <laughs> At last a bicycle competition gets underway. I think this young lad has borrowed the bicycle. It doesn't belong to him and I think he's rather unlucky to be the first one to go. Quite a lot of the course is over there in those rushes and under the trees. I'm not too sure how many points or seconds have been lost there, but everyone else seems to be enjoying it. This young lad's just taken a, quite a nasty fall in the gutter. He looks all right, though. Oh, here he goes again. <laughs> I hope he's all right. That was well done. Going well, isn't he? <laughs> Not too good on the seesaw, but now we go out into the country. I must say this Libanus team is very professional. The judges are Mr. and Mrs. Benfield from Landrinded Wells. <laughs> Let's go back over now to the forestry competition. The judging has been done. This is the winning entry from uh, Troy Dudala. 
and it's been made by uh, Kevin Jones, Mark Gwillem, Owen Morgan and Martin Gwillem. Just look at the craftsmanship here. I think you'd have a difficult job to buy a gate as good as this. There are still a few minor adjustments being made to the gate over there. We're back with the Lombarda dancing and I think it's Bueller's turn. The next competitor starts the obstacle course. I think he's done a lot of this. He's got the bike in a low gear and he's pedaling as fast as he can. That was well done. I think he lost his way for a moment then. Oh, straight over the seesaw. Now he starts on the cross-country test. Oh, he's put his foot down there. He might lose a point or two for that. I'm afraid we've had to leave the bicycle race because the uh, mobile displays are coming into the main ring. I told you a little earlier that the theme is the soap opera, so I think we're going to see uh, Emmerdale Farm and Coronation Street. And I think this is a soap opera. I think it's one of the works by Gilbert and Sullivan with a bath thrown in as well. <laughs> you better not do that again. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be the Rover's return, and is that Phyllis, uh, Vera Duckworth, the Rita? I don't really know. There seems to be a better clientele in the wool pack. Hang on, Vera. Coronation Street again, and Vera Duckworth's son, Terry, is getting married today. And they better hurry up with the ceremony, because they'll soon have a new addition to the family. Terry's got the handcuffs on. He should be in prison, really. This is Dallas, and that must be JR in bed with those lovely young ladies. Uh, we all know what he was like. Another genuine musical soap opera with Bold and Daz as the leading singers. And this looks like the Flying Doctors. We bid you welcome to our home. Happen you're not fine friendly wherever you roam. What a balmy evening. It is wonderful to see so many of you present on our opening night. As we can hear, the orchestra are warming up in the pit, so it shouldn't be too long before we commence with something completely new for these this area. Our very first soap opera, the Mikado, or Soap Set Takeaway. I will now introduce the cast, the soap, Life Boy Rolando Way. Once again, we are here in the familiar surroundings of the Rovers' return. The residents of the street are celebrating Rita's and Ted's wedding. Rita and Ted. Rita and Ted. The happy couple have just left for their honeymoon. Beth? Conservatively dressed as ever, is busy, busy pulling. Pint slap is. Taking the straight, and Kim's giving Mr. Turner 20 lashes to be slack at the back. Now, boys, heave! But watch this, Annie's found a fresh steaming dog turd on a cherry cake. So that's it. 
Frank Tate trying to sabotage the Poodle's pack scene. He's letting his incontinent rock rider, Samson, run riot in the pub. Oh no, not the bar chair, Samson. Leave Mr. Turner's leg alone, you randy rock biner. Archie, don't let, don't let the dog lick the baby there. Good grief, Mr. Turner slipped on a whoopsie and shot out the back door. Hello, welcome to Coronation Street. I'm Bert Gilroy, landlady of the Rose's Return. Terry has been granted special leave from prison so he can be present for his own wedding. But as you can see, he's had to bring a companion with him. Oh, stop fussing, Vera, or you'll miss the wedding. Jack has got a good excuse for a day off work. Aw, oh, doesn't the bride look stunning in a maternity, or should I say wedding gown? Percy thinks he's David Bailey. Hang on, where's Terry up to? He's doing a runner with a guard in half the suit. A disaster for the Duckworth family, but just an ordinary day in Coronation Street. down from the dead for you today. You see, I'm up in heaven and I'm smoking all that goddamn gas you're burning up with your cars. You want to stop doing it? Well, this is where it all began, ladies and gentlemen, with my old daddy. You know, this is the first platform of all he ever made, and he's been doing it ever since. Well, apart from when he died, but that's besides the point. Tell him, looking after the cattle and the horses, oh, he loves the rams. Him, there's me in bed. Yeah, that was my downfall, ladies and gentlemen. I loved the ladies. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry of them, I loved every one of them. And I could pull them in. Oh, yes, I had eight on a bed one time, you know. Eight on a bed. But I was a bit tired afterwards. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's home. And I wish I could be there with my brother today. But I can't. It's so long, folks. So long. and welcome to Benny Bridge YSC Soap Opera with a Difference. Today we have the Battle of the Soaps, each fighting to get to number one on the Housewives list. In the white corner, we have our boldest member, Geraint Davis, who is a natural fabric softener and over 80% recycled material. Shaking her stuff from the tambourine, we have Lynn Williams, Playing a cat call on the violin is Cheryl Jones. And keeping us all in time, Mark and Perry on the drums. Take it away. That's on the wrong tone. He left town in despair and went walk about in the bush. And there he was, face to face, with Monty the Mighty Croc. Look, the croc attacks and they wrestle on the ground. Oh no, the croc is tearing his inch to bits. He's got him by the leg. Leap to the rescue as Harry sends an SOS for the flying doctors. Within minutes, the doctors arrive and hurry to tend to Bruce's injuries. They must operate immediately to remove the dummy leg. The next competition is underway on the side of the main ring. This is to dress up a club leader or the senior member of the club in paper and it's to be done by two uh, members under 16 years of age. This is going to be quite a difficult competition because uh, there's a strong breeze blowing and I think we're going to have paper all over the field. The time allowed is half an hour and all the paper is uh, provided this afternoon so uh, no work uh, can have been done beforehand. Where are you going to put it? Over now to the tug of war competitions, and it's the host club Troydadala versus Pont Farm.
Mr. and Mrs. Tony Lawrence from Penny Bond are the judges in the dressmaking competition. The time is up now. Here's our ballerina with a hairy chest. The final of the tug of war between Pontvan and Balkan Krakow. A quick look at the clay pigeon shooting. That was a good shot. It's very difficult to see. The clays are going straight into the sun. We're coming to the end of the afternoon and although there are still a few football matches to be played and uh, some other competitions haven't quite finished yet, I can now give you the final results. In fourth place was uh, Senny Bridge with 930 points. Irwood Young Farmers Club were third with 950 points. Uh, the runners-up, uh, the host club, Troy de Dulla, with 966 points. But this year's winners of the Brecknock YFC Rally is the uh, club from Bilthwells, with a grand total of 981 points. <laughs>